So these are my predictions for the C2 Pepier 2015. I don't have any um, insider knowledge, I don't want to take exam boards, I'm just a teacher and these are just guesses. So please don't solely base um, uh, what you revise just on what I say here, um, because I, I don't know, this, these are just guesses. So the first thing um, is acids and alkalis. These always, always come up. It's really important to know the iron that is an acid, the iron that's an alkali, and this neutralisation equation. They love asking about this. So ionic bonding, um, I think this is going to be big. I think you're going to need to know how to draw it. Um, you're also going to need to know what describes what happens, but I think drawing is going to be a big thing. And it's always good to be able to do the same for um, covalent bonding. So there are some four mark questions that keep coming up year after year after year and it's really worth getting the mark schemes from the previous years, um, looking at the videos that I've made and um, learning what these are. So the difference is between metals and oil alloys, uh, simple molecules, um, how giant ionic and giant covalent their structures influence properties and the different types of polymers. Nanotechnology comes up every single year, learn it. So I reckon um, a, pos a couple of possibilities for the big six mark question this year are rates of reaction and crystals, mainly because they like asking these as six mark questions and last year they didn't ask one of these as six mark questions. So I think it's either going to be one of these two or something completely random. So collision theory, you're going to need to have a good, solid three or four mark answer for collision theory. How does changing this affect the rate of reaction? You're going to have to have that nailed down really well. So I reckon they might um, get you to draw a graph this year. Um, they're probably definitely going to want you to put a line of best fit on something. But I reckon this year it might be drawing graphs. And don't forget when you draw your graphs to find the anomalous results. Electricity, so how metals conduct electricity and how graphene conducts electricity. Slightly um, left field for a CT paper, but I reckon it's going to come up. And maths, don't forget the maths. So they're definitely going to ask something about, um, I say definitely, I'm, I'm very sure in my guessing that they're going to ask something about um, the mass of something, the percentage yield, and the higher tier, they're either going to ask a big question about the empirical formula or about reacting masses. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests, down below please.